left-wing leader Janine Whistler has sharply criticized the current plans for basic child protection. The most important reform project of the Green family minister Lisa Paws is turning out to be more and more a pipe creeper. This is not really being implemented, said W. I. Lur. The victims are millions of children who grow up in poverty. The dispute of the ruling parties will be carried out on the backs of the poor children in this country. Whistler accused Paws of having prepared the reform so poorly that there are over a hundred pages of amendments hailing in the Federal Council. Despite the return of funds to the bureaucracy, the Job Center and Family Service would remain dependent on mutual information, the left-wing politician said. For many families, break plans meant that in the future, they would have to deal with two authorities instead of one, when communication between them does not work smoothly. It can happen that funds are paid out too late or in the wrong amount, and painful repayments occur. Whistler also criticized the fact that too little money was earmarked for financial support. Instead of the estimated 12 billion euros per year estimated by Pauls, it is only a little more than 2 billion, said the left-wing politician. A quarter of this alone, around half a billion, goes to the bureaucracy of the authorities instead of coming to needy children. The impact of Pau's proposal on the poverty rate would be minimal, at best a change in the third decimal place. For a noticeable improvement, a significantly higher level of financial support is necessary, said W. I. Lur. She spoke of a fatal and short-sighted savings and strike policy of the Traffic Light Coalition. Those who save on the support of children today will have to make up for the deficits later. The basic child insurance is intended to bundle several benefits for children and make them more easily accessible to families. The coalition wants to combat child poverty more effectively. The corresponding bill was discussed for the first time in the Bundestag in November, but the legislative procedure has stalled. Many details of the implementation are still open. The leaders of the SPT, Greens and FDP will meet for consultations in Berlin on Wednesday evening. No concrete decisions are planned at the meeting of the coalition committee. Finance Minister Christian Lindner had called in advance for a revision of the plans of family minister pause for a basic child insurance. The president of the German Child Protection Association, Sabine Andreessen, was also not satisfied with the draft law on basic child protection. We all wished for much more with the reform, she told the newspapers of the median Grupp Bayern. In any case, the reform is not yet the big hit. If the entry is not even possible now, then that would be fatal, Andreessen said. Among other things, she called for a recalculation of the child's subsistence minimum. She had the impression that there are different ideas in the traffic light coalition about whether one really wants to prioritize the fight against child and youth poverty or treats it as a subordinate.